Hey James, I have a question. Do you want to be my best friend? Yeah, when pigs fly. We're using the centimeter side of the centimeter. We are, in fact, we're using the centimeter. Boom. 83 on the dot. Wow. Mark it. Time of day. Time of day. So now we have to. No. Oh, are you doing the radius? Yes. She says it's going to be I mean, don't, so how, how are you going to do that? What if we just put a bed down here and like, add... Do we have tape? Yeah, do it. We could just tape this to the ceiling. And then... James, stop. Okay. So well, the camera's not at the center of the thing, but like right under where it's crossing. Yeah. So it's crossing here. Um, can you, wait. Can you actually see the markings on it? Your thumb is like perfect to where it is. Okay. Oh, we're in inches. Flip it. Flip it. Flip. Flip. Okay. Get it. So it's. There we go. Your thumb is perfect. Where's your thumb? Sixty-three. Now we're doing a triangle to find. So when it's going, right? It's like this, right? There's a... You know So, there is a triangle. This isn't where it is exactly. But look, so one line, and then another line, because it's at an angle. So it's like, zip, 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 triangle. We're drawing that, and we're using A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Uh, uh, Chris, Chris, what's wrong? Uh, I can't figure this out, James. Alright, so we got our triangles what, with the string length and then the radius. Okay. And then we got this via the process of math, and I am currently getting these two angles. These two, the how do how do we know this? Yeah, what is uh, that? Because this, it's a right triangle. It's a right triangle! Wow. Real triangle. It's a triangle of forces. Yeah, wow. What does MG? Is that milligrams, Chris? Uh, no. What's MG? Uh, mass for times. So this gravity? Yes. Yeah. Mass times gravity. All right. Wow. So, do, but we don't know the mass, do we? The mass of the pig? It'll cancel out. It'll cancel out. Spoiler alert. All right. All right. It'll cancel out. No. Okay. Pause the document. You have a problem. You are too lazy to walk with your legs, but you just worked out your arms, did those curls, so you're extremely swole in your arms. Well, I have an invention for you. The move your legs with your arms. Watch this. James, I'm gonna get to you by moving. It also vastly wow. improves. Look at that straight leg. <laughs> Turn out marching. Yes, the vastly improved we... marching technique. Taco Bell. Yeah. Stop. Are your arms broken? Or are you just very lazy and, and you can't like scratch your face with your hands? Well, look at this new invention. By using your feet, you can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. You can lift up your hands. Go scratch, scratch your face with your them. Face. <laughs> it works like a charm. There you go. Okay. All right. Chris Nelson. Okay. Okay. 54 divided by 63 is the same as mg divided by mg squared over r. Dude. Yeah. And that looks ugly, but what do you do when you have a fraction? Oh, uh, you cross multiply. You can do yeah. That or, or you flip it. Yeah, either one. You're gonna cruise now. Guys, uh, we regret to inform you that we made a very dire and drastic mistake in our calculations. You see, we, we measured the triangle measurements in centimeters, but we used the meter measurement for acceleration for gravity. So, 
our our time is just completely not in the it's right. It's ten decimal. times too big, exactly. Chris. It's ten times larger than it should be. Let that what Joe said. So, you know, this is a still this is a low point in our lab. Okay, so move the desk. Boom. Whoa. 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 I'm a genius. Whoa. I figured it out. <laughs> okay. What's what's your side of the argument? Um that like we have to see if we found the right velocity by finding velocity a different way. No, but that doesn't make sense because we don't know the period. Period eh, period uh we don't know the period yet. Okay. Chris, you're a buff no, no, hey, you hey, have to fight. Hey, don't put this on me, Joe. No, you're wrong. No, I'm right. You're wrong. I'm right. You're wrong. Stop. You're wrong. Ah! Oh, no. Remember just, Armister just said we were right. Chris and I were right. James was wrong. Boo him. Boo. But we are using this equation to find the period and the... So we just plugged in the numbers we knew. Now the big reveal to find out if our time is correct. Period. Please note that our time was 1.475 seconds in the past. Okay, so when it goes past yeah. the mic right at this bar, I'm gonna start. You're, yeah. No, James has got, no. I'm gonna start and then James is gonna yell at me to stop when it starts. You ready? Wait. Yeah. Where are you starting from? They're lying. Like, <laughs> Like that line right there. All right. Joe, Tell me whenever you're ready, Joe. Ready? And... Ooh! We did it. Stop. Estimated time was 1.747, which we could go to, round up to 1.48. Yeah. 1.58. Oh, yeah. So our calculated time was 1.48 seconds. The actual time was 1.58 seconds. And then using the power of math, we were able to find out that our percent error was 6.75. Which is actually